In the last presentation, we completed our parity. We saw the general idea of the parity and also learned how it detects the error. In this presentation, we will study about the parity generator and try to minimize the expression by using the K map. Of course, we are going to study a 4 bit even parity generator. And I hope you know what is the even parity generator. The parity bit is 1 when the number of 1 in the original bit is odd. So, this is all we have to do in the even parity generator. So, let's move to this truth table. As we are talking about the 4 bit parity generator, there are 4 bits B0, B1, B2, and B3, and total 16 possible combinations that I have already written here and the only thing now we have to do is to fill for this parity bit that is your P naught. Now let's see for the first combination that is the combination of four zeros and as there is four zeros involved the P naught should be zero. Similarly in the second case there is odd number of one so P naught will be 1 to make it even. The total bit should be even including this parity bit. Similarly in the third case again there is a single one so we will add 1 as the parity bit. In the fourth case there are two ones even number of ones so no need to add the parity bit it is 0. Similarly odd 1 parity bit is high even 1 parity bit is low even one parity bit is low odd one parity bit is high similarly we will fill for the next eight one zero zero one zero one one zero now we have to fill this parity bit in the k map this is the k map for P naught. So let's do it. Zero one one zero. So zero one one zero. And then we are having one zero zero one. So one zero zero one. And the next four are one zero zero one. So one. 0 0 1 this is 0 and the last four are 0 1 1 0 so 0 1 1 0 now you can see a different type of k map in which we are having each and every one that we cannot make any group of two ones four ones or eight ones so all the ones needed to be grouped alone and this particular type of arrangement in the k-map we call as the checkboard configuration C -H -E -C -K, checkboard configuration so whenever there is a checkboard configuration the output the p naught is something that we can write straight away but right now I'm not writing it because I have to show you by minimizing the function so let's do that p naught is equal to for the first one we are having b3 bar b2 bar b1 bar b0 so let's write it down b3 bar b2 bar b1 bar b0 similarly for this one we are having b3 bar b2 bar b1 b0 bar so you can do for the remaining one i'm just writing them down so that we don't have to waste our time you can do by yourself now i have written the values of the function for each and every one that is our implicant and in the next step we need to simplify this expression and in the first two term you can see that b3 bar and b2 bar is common so we can take it out b3 bar b2 bar and we are left with b1 bar b0 plus b1 b0 bar similarly in these two terms 
b3 bar b2 is common b1 bar b0 bar plus b1 b0 is in the bracket in these two terms b3 b2 is common b3 b2 and we are left with b1 bar b0 plus b1 b0 bar similarly in the last two terms b3 b2 bar is the common b1 bar b0 bar plus b1 b0 is in the bracket now you can see that b1 bar b0 plus b1 b0 bar is something we say as the x or operation so we can write it as b3 bar b2 bar and b1 xor b0 similarly this is x nor operation b1 bar b0 bar or b1 b0 this is your x nor operation so we can write it as b1 x nor b0 similarly in this we are again having the xor operation so b3 b2 and b1 xor b0 and in the last one we are having b3 b2 var b1 x0 b0 so again we can simplify it by taking this b1 xor b0 common from these two terms and b1 x0 b0 from these two terms so b1 xor b0 inside the bracket we are having b3 bar b2 bar or b3 b2 and in the la and these two terms we are having b1 x0 b0 as the common one and b3 bar b2 or b3 b2 bar in the bracket now again you can see that this is your xnor operation and this is your xor operation so we can write it as b1 xor b0 okay and b3 sorry this is xnor b3 xnor b2 similarly b1 xnor b0 and inside the bracket we, we are having b2 xor b3 okay and uh, you know that that b3 x0 b2 we can write it as b3 x or b2 and its complement that we have already done in one of our lectures so i'm writing it down b2 x or b3 complement or b1 and this thing we can write it as b1 x0 b0 as b1 x or b0 and then it's complica complement and we are having b2 x or b3 okay now let let us say that b1 x0 b0 is a let me change the color this one is let's say your a so this one will be what a complement and let's say this one is your b so this one will be what b complement so again we are having a b complement or a complement b this is again the x or operation so what i can write i can write a x or b and what was our a our a was b1 x or b0 x0 sign from here and our b was b2 x or b3 b2 x or b3 so what i can write i can write b0 x or b1 x0 b2 x0 b3 this is our p output okay so whenever whenever there is a checkboard configuration like this this type of con configuration we are going to see in the full adders whenever there is a configuration like this you can directly write the output p output as the x nor combination of this things that is your b not x or b1 x or b2 x or b3 no need to solve these all things it is just to show you that we can write it like that so no need to do that just write straight away whenever there is a checkboard configuration one more thing you can see that this p not is the odd ones detected this whole 
function or you can say the whole logic is the odd ones detector because whenever there is odd one the output is high you can see that and you know that the odd ones detector is what your XR very simple so you can have directly written this thing as XR operation of the B0, B1, B2 and B3 so this is all for this presentation see you in the next one